Okay, so we're going to go over an interplay between two of your most basic mount escapes, the UPA or bridge and roll escape, and the knee elbow escape. Also, you can use this same sort of idea with the hip escape. This situation, I have one arm under Cora's head, one hand based out on the mat, okay? So I'm here like this, hand here. Now, this is kind of predicated by how much pressure I'm putting on her face, okay? Um, it, you know, it sort of depends, like, what, a, what is my goal here? Am I trying to, you know, get her set up in an arm triangle, palm on underhook, whatever. But if, if I'm turning her face this way, she can reach inside, and if, she's, if there's no space, Cora, just bump your hips with a single shoulder. Now there's space, okay? Now from here, she's already executing a knee elbow. So she shakes that leg back and forth, and she's in half guard, recovering guard, or sweeping, or taking the back. Okay, so it's like, you know, I'm going under her head. I'm turning her that way. If there's no space, she bumps, gets on her side a little bit, and the elbow. Beautiful, okay? Now here's the other thing. Court, don't let me put my arm under your head, okay? So she's going to bridge and transfer weight from yeah, the back of the neck, like kind of tuck your chin. Yes, see, I can't even get under her head now. So she's... You know, taking that curvature that I can, you know, and just relax. If she's not doing anything, I can get my arm under there, okay? So uh, the early phase is just, you know, transfer weight from your feet into your, into your head and tuck your chin. What if somebody's already got the arm under there, okay? Well, you could trap that arm there to do a bridge and roll, to do an UPA escape, okay? So let me have my, my arm already under there, right? And I'm, I'm holding, and she's going to turn and get the head offline. She's putting weight I can't pull out. And she hits the Upa. Basics. Okay, uh, you know, I've been doing Jiu Jitsu almost 17 years. And it just, you know, you're always after the next coolest answer, like the whole time. And it just always comes back to the same three mount escapes I've always known the, the bridge and roll, the Upa escape, uh, commonly called both, uh, the hip escape and the knee elbow. It's always been those three. But just, you know, the ways, oh, I could do that one from all of these different situations and that one and that one. And then, you know, the do's and don'ts, the misconceptions that you figure out along the way. So we're covering a lot of that in these videos. We've really been uh, exploring mount escapes. have had some great seminars recently with some awesome instructors also, uh, some great resources there. So sharing that info with everybody. Thanks.